Why learn memory techniques when we can just write stuff down on our phone? Well, they can help you remember names and faces in social situations, recall your credit card number if you lose it, and embed ridiculous amounts of information deeply into your mind to help you pass your exam. Before we get into it, if you like these videos, I have a free video for you that you can watch now by clicking the link in the description below and subscribing to my email list. Lesson 1. The three principles for amazing memory. The first principle is imagination. According to Aristotle, memory and imagination are strongly linked. Imagination uses both sides of the brain which will improve your memory. Incorporating the five senses into your visualizations will help. The three strongest memory senses are vision, sound, and smell. Sensual experiences aren't always enough and require imagination. The more bizarre an image is, the more retrievable it will be. Think about it, what are you more likely to remember? A rainbow horse with a jetpack on its back, or an ordinary horse? The second principle is association. Association is a mental link between two different things. For example, you walk back to work at lunchtime and you see a mail van pass by. The van sparks your memory that you had to mail a birthday letter to your mother. Many associations occur naturally and spontaneously. For example, we often associate glasses with intelligence because of its association with reading. You can consciously make associations to boost your memory power. For example, let's say I meet a girl called Ruby Smith. To remember her name, I could associate Ruby with her ruby colored hair, and Smith with her nose that looks like Mr. Smithers. Next time I see Ruby, I'll be able to recall her name when I see her ruby colored hair and her Mr. Smithers nose. It can be difficult to make associations depending on the name, but try your best and get creative. The third principle is location. Dominic attributes his success in the World Memory Championships to this principle. What do you do when you lose your keys? Most people will retrace their steps, an example of using the art of location. Studies show that people who've spent the day traveling are especially accurate in recalling the sequence of the events in the day. The locations we find ourselves in serves as a mental framework that helps us remember. Lesson two, four powerful memory techniques. The first technique is mnemonics. A mnemonic is a device that helps us to remember something. Word-based mnemonics like acronyms and rhymes are a common way to help recall information, although it has been criticized as a technique that doesn't help you understand the information you're memorizing. However, it can come in handy for exams. I had a marketing exam last week, and I used an acronym to remember the five laws of shopping. Palms, purchase goals, availability, limited time, many short trips, and selective purchasing. Rhymes are another type of mnemonic, a common one to remember is how many days there are in each month. It goes like this. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. Except February, my dear son. It has 28 and that is fine, but in a leap year, it has 29. The second technique is the story method. I have a list of five items. A backpack, a diamond, a banana, a basketball, and a bowling ball. The idea is to form a story that links together each item. Make your story interesting by using your imagination. To link the first two items, backpack and diamond, you could say, I was searching through my smelly backpack to find my dazzling diamond ring. By making items more vivid and imagining sounds and smells items make, the more you will cement them into your mind. Technique number three, the Loki method. This is perhaps the most powerful technique because it combines the three major principles of memory, imagination, association, and location. The method is based on a familiar mental route or a memory palace that includes a number of stages to act as anchors for the items we need to remember. Golfers often use this method without realizing when they recount their stories of every hole they played. A golf course has 18 holes or stages and the layer of the course is deeply ingrained in their minds. As they tell their story, they imagine themselves going on a journey from hole to hole and recalling the particular shot they did. Whether you're a golfer or not, here's how you can do it. Take this list again. Now imagine a familiar route you take in real life. For example, I can vividly remember the journey I took through my school when I was younger. This is my memory palace. In the morning, I'd walk past the gate into the classroom and go to the playground for recess. 
That's three stages in the journey that I could anchor an item to. I could imagine bumping into the school gate and everything spilling out of my smelly backpack. Next, I find a dazzling diamond ring on my desk that my secret lover put there for me. Lastly, I run to the playground and accidentally slip on a moldy banana peel and bump my head. And now for the most powerful technique, the Dominic system. This system can be extremely effective when it comes to recalling large numbers or memorizing a deck of randomly shoveled playing cards. This system works by seeing numbers as images because images are easier to remember. Images of people work best. Assign a letter to each number from 0 to 9. 1 is A, 2 is B, 3 is C, etc. It's often better to mix logical connections with creative ones. For example, 0 could represent O because they look the same. Now group the numbers into pairs, all the way up to 99. These pairs are then used to create the initials of people's names using the number and letter pairs we created. In the case of memorizing randomly shoveled playing cards, we convert spades to S, hearts to H, clubs to C, and diamonds to D. We then convert the card number to its own letter as we did before. A two of clubs would become BC or Bill Clinton. A ten of diamonds would become AOD or The Amazing One Direction. Now combine this system with the low key and story methods. Place each character at a stage in your memory palace and make a story out of it. This is an incredibly powerful way to boost your memory capacity that Dominic used to recall 412 playing cards at the World Memory Championships. To summarize, we learnt about the three principles for amazing memory, including imagination, association, and location. We also learnt about four powerful memory techniques, including mnemonics, the story method, the low key method, and the Dominic system. In the next video, you'll learn how to master the distraction and get the right things done. That rounds it up. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.